Well guys, it's that time of year again. SEMA 2017 is here, the place where gearheads make the pilgrimage from all over the world to see the baddest builds in the land and some of the new cool products that are hitting the market. Now we're gonna be bringing you all the 2018 F-150s from the show, giving you my top three picks. But of course guys, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more great content. For now, we got a lot to cover, let's get to it. Now, while SEMA is definitely a collection of craziness, the Ford booth is the epicenter for us here at AT. We want to walk around a little bit, check out some of the new 2018 F-150s. Of course, the Raptor's here, so let's get to it. So a lot of the SEMA stuff that you guys are used to seeing is probably this big, lifted, over-the-top stuff. Well, walking around the Ford booth, there's also another facet to kind of check out as well, and that is the lowered street truck. So RK Sports got their rig right here. Very cool red and black EcoBoost, a lot of carbon goodies, custom hood, things like that. And behind me, the TGIN edition, which is on an airlift performance suspension kit, slammed on the ground, those big bronze wheels, big Ford performance blower under the hood, and that Coyote. So, Definitely a different stroke for a different folk, but it's a nice alternative to those over-the-top kind of crazy trucks of SEMA, and it is pretty cool to see them in the 2018 form. So as a 2017 Raptor owner, there were a couple of really cool Raptors in the Ford booth here at SEMA 2017 that I'm really excited to show you guys. The first of which is the F-22 Raptor, named after the fighter jet. As you can see, they paid homage to it in the grill here. Lifted a little bit from our friends over Addictive Desert Designs. A 37 by 12 and a half inch tire, so obviously a little bit more meat under there now. Intercooled by our friends over at Whipple. A lot of those guys probably know Whipple from Superchargers. Well, they actually made an intercooler here for the high output 3.5 twin turbo V6. But if you look around the truck a little bit more, you'll see the very cool detail that went into this thing. The fighter jet motif throughout the light covers, the interior, things like that. And one of the really cool trucks I was stoked to see here at SEMA. The second Raptor I wanted to show you guys is from our friends at Xbox to celebrate the release of the Xbox One X, as if the green lighting didn't give it away, of course. But this thing is completely badass. Obviously a 2017 Ford Raptor, but lifted six inches from a Fabtech lift kit. Big old wheels and tires, the graphics, the ADD bumper, of course. This is their Stealth Fighter front bumper, something I'm very fond of. I think it's a very cool truck, codenamed Project Scorpio. That was kind of the code name for the One X as Xbox was developing this thing. And this is a truck you'll actually be able to drive in the new Forza 7 game for the Xbox One X dropping in November. Ford booth, as always, is where it's at. All right, guys, so I'm gonna bend the rules a little bit here on my third pick. Uh, technically a 2018 Raptor, but not a lot has changed from the 17 to 18 model year. But look at this thing, man, completely badass. Carbon fiber wide body kit for both front and rear. Outfitted with the whole AFE catalog performance part wise. You got the cold air intake, the exhaust system, which is actually piped out through those rear fenders. Very cool, very badass. Massive 39 inch tall tires here. Sway away suspension, RPG lower and upper control arms. I mean, just a completely badass truck. And as a Raptor owner, something I wish mine would look like at some point or another. But for now, I'll just kind of stare at this thing and drool all over myself. So walk along the centerline booth here at SEMA 2017. A couple of rigs I wanted to catch up with. My buddy Armaz Raptor looks absolutely sick. He's got the KC Highlight stuff going on. Brand new King suspension, of course those centerline wheels. Big fan of what he's done with this thing and he actually beats the snot out of it like you should as a Raptor owner. But let's check out my baby over here, Brocky, of course, the Vaughn Gittin Jr. Jimmy's 4x4, 4500 class buggy and uh, it's actually still a little bit muddy from the Reno Ultra 4 National Championships that we ran in about a week or two ago. We've got a video coming to you very soon about that. You're not gonna wanna miss it. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We had a hell of a time and we kept Brocky together long enough to finish the race. In fact, Vaughn is here. We're gonna go catch up with him. Let's go see what he's up to. So here we are, Vaughn getting Jr. We found him, of course, standing in front of the RTR muscle truck. Here it is, man. Your vision is finally a reality. What are you most excited about with this thing? You know, we debuted the F-150, the Ultimate Fun Hammer, a couple years ago, and that was undertone of how we would approach a truck. Basically took the concept of the Ultimate Fun Hammer, 
and brought it into something that could be production capable. This is not a Raptor, it's not a competitor with a Raptor. It does have off-road capability. It does have massive three inch shocks under there and about 12 inch suspension travel, but you can see it's slightly lowered. But if you hit a jump, suspension falls out and land you know, nice, and, land smooth, nice right? and smooth. So what are you trying to achieve with this thing, man? Obviously everybody knows you from sliding things around, but the ultimate fun haver is more than that, right? So you're trying to take that and apply that to this yeah, as well. Yeah, just a multi-purpose approach. This truck has it all. 640 horsepower, custom suspension. It will drift, it will jump, it will go get groceries, it will tow your trailer. So just a very multi-purpose take for people that just want a little bit more. Let's walk alongside, because I want you to tell me a little bit more about this wheel and tire combo. I think these are absolutely dope. Nothing like it really in the truck market right now. Uh, kind of some inspiration maybe from your RTR Mustang side. These are our off-road take of you know our Tech 7s. This is how the, the tires will come. Nice. Um, I wanted to get 35s, but there's some crash bars on the truck that uh, we couldn't do without rubbing. So these fit, no rubbing, everything's good. That's Perfect, sick, you know, man. proper offset. So we'll have these available okay. for F-150s. Notice you got some hardware on the dash, my friend. Yeah, so that's uh, something we're really proud about. We won a design award for, for Ford for this truck. That's so awesome. you know, we've done a lot of vehicles and had multiple on the Ford display. And it's the first time we've won a design award. And for our first shot at an F-150 for the amazing designers at Ford to recognize us for that, uh, it's just very flattering and it just feels good and it's a lot of fun you know to see these visions and the creative juices just come to life absolutely man so, uh, these guys don't know what went down yet but uh okay i was your code dog and how'd i do justin came out and code dog with me at the ultra four nationals he did a phenomenal job he took it serious and uh i know i gave you a few pucker moments you certainly did <laughs> um you know it was, it was what we needed to be out there and uh do what they'll see that we did. Absolutely. Well, let's get back to the truck real quick again. Hitting dealer lots sometime in 2018, correct? Yes. And then parts will be available americantrucks.com? They will be available through americantrucks.com. Boom. And, uh, I'm about ready to go for a ride in the Ultimate Fun Haver. Would you like to do that? Psh, come on, man. Drifting, Code jumping. dog all over again. All right, let's do it, good. all right? Perfect. See you. Here we are. I got to go ride in the Ultimate Fun Haver, of course. Here it's as fun as Brocky would be. But it ain't no Brocky. Listen, we've had some gnarly times in Brocky. <laughs> so this is probably gonna feel like a walk in the park. However, still a hell of a lot of fun. thing you could ever want. Jump it, slide it, take it to go get groceries. Share the fun with your friends. It's all about sharing good times with good friends. <laughs> Can I come? So what do you get when you cross two of the baddest names in all the land? Shelby and Raptor. Well, you get the Baja Raptor. Check this thing out. Definitely caught me and my buddy Dan's eye when we walked by this thing tastefully done and just crank things up a little bit. Shelby and the team over there has done a great job with this truck. Obviously a little bit different stance here, a little bit more power, 525 horsepower through different calibration, some other go fast goodies as well, different intercoolers, but all in all, man, what more could you want? Nothing more American and trucks than the original Bigfoot. I don't know about you guys, but I had a few of these toys growing up, jumping them over stuff, and it's awesome to see it here at SEMA. So here it is guys, my number two F-150 2018 from the SEMA 2017 show, the ARE 2018. Now this thing just embodies SEMA in every way, right? Huge wheels, huge lift, but with a purpose. This is their high-end camping rig. So what you see, you got the camper on top, the pop-up, ARE's brand new bed cover as well, a lot of storage. And on top of that, it's high tech. You can control this whole thing with an iPad. You can be hanging out in your camper or your tent up top there, check what's going on outside on the cameras through your iPad. It's just a very modern, but very cool looking rig and a solid choice here for my number two 2018 F-150 at SEMA. So the Ford booth inside is obviously the epicenter of all the cool 2018 builds, both Mustang and truck related. The Ford out front booth, however, or area is where all the action takes place. 
Vaughn Gittin Jr. and his team with RTR are drifting their stuff around. JTP from Roush is gonna be sliding his rig around. Just a lot of cool stuff going down out here. So let's get in, check out all the smoke. So we're out with our friends here at Roush. And one thing we learned about during the Ford press conference was the big release of this guy, the 2.6 liter TVS supercharger. And Roush is actually installing one right now on a 2018 five liter truck. So Preston, the, the man right now, is in the process of dropping the upper portion into place. A little acrobatic work installed as well here to get everything in place. And uh, this is pretty cool to see this actually happening. Gen 3 Coyote under the hood. You kind of, without the engine cover on, you can see the plumbing for the direct injection on top of the port injection. And just like that, seems like he's got it lined up on the dowels and everything is in place here. So I haven't even seen the blower until today. And now we're seeing them actually install one on a 2018 F-150. So obviously the boys have a little bit more work to do. We're gonna go check some more stuff, come back, and then uh, hopefully they'll fire this thing up for us so we can hear how this beast sounds. So this is one of the builds I've been keeping an eye on kind of leading up to SEMA 2017 here. Our friends from Rogue Racing put together their 2017 Raptor and just threw every single part in the catalog at this thing, used it as their development truck to develop some of the really killer parts. It looks pretty radical up front here. Obviously you get a feel for the lower control arm, all that good stuff, but it's around back where things are really going down. So let's check that out. So here you go. If you ever wonder what the back end of your Raptor looks like blown apart, well, wonder no more. This is it. As you can see, the King stuff, the suspension is just completely next level. I don't know how else to describe this. Uh, totally different from your factory Raptor suspension, as you might imagine. But uh, they got the bump stop kit installed here as well. You see the frame, you see the gas tank. They had the Ford Performance Bipolar exhaust, brand new Rogue Racing bumpers. They have the Enforcer front bumper on this thing matching rear bumper as well. It's pretty cool just to see it here at SEMA. Just when you thought you've seen it all here at SEMA, you see this thing, the Velociraptor. Six by six, so two rear axles, six wheels all together, making over 600 horsepower, over 600 pound-feet of torque, zero to 60 in under five seconds for this massive truck. I'd like to know the wheelbase on this thing. It's pretty damn long, but man, I'm speechless. That's all I can say. If you ever wonder what your Call of Duty Black Ops Met Ford Raptor would look like, well, here it is, the 511 Tactical Raptor in the Corsa booth. Now, my buddy Sean from Corsa said, dude, you have to come by our booth. There's a Raptor there you have to see. And he wasn't lying. Check this thing out. Absolutely crazy front end here. Probably one of the gnarliest bumpers I've seen for the 2017 Raptor. Really cool racking and running boards with this thing. Full carbon fiber fenders, as you can see, and hood here carries into the back as well. You got a lot of racking going on. This thing is definitely gnarly and uh, well done to the guys over at 511. Well, we saw Preston and the crew working hard on this thing. Looks like that new TVS blower is in place. Time for the moment of truth. Kevin, if you wouldn't mind, do the honor, sir. There you go. One day TVS install and she's sounding pretty healthy. Hats off to the guys here at Roush Performance. And now I get to take this one back to Philly, right? Yeah. There we go, we got the thumbs up. So without further ado, here it is guys, my number one 2018 F-150 from the SEMA 2017 show, the RTR muscle truck. Come on guys, as if there is any doubt, right? This thing just completely badass, checks all the right boxes, in my opinion, that muscle truck stands. When you send this thing off a jump, that suspension drops out. So you have all the travel of a new Raptor, but a more streetable kind of stance here. But at the same time, if you want to lift this thing up a little bit, you have the adjustability to do so. Under the hood, that brand new Gen 3 Coyote with the new 2.65 liter TVS blower, pumping out all the power you want and more. And just the goodies on this thing, the RTR design package from the appearance standpoint, is just totally killer. Again, Vaughn and the guys over at RTR slayed this thing, and it was an easy choice for my number one truck here at SEMA. Oh guys, that's gonna wrap us up here for SEMA 2017, americantrucks.com. We had a great time checking out all the cool stuff here at SEMA. 
Ford, again, hottest truck of the show with the F-150. That's seven out of eight years that the company has won that award since it's been created. So big time hat tip to the gang over at the Blue Oval for creating such a badass truck. And credit to all the builders for showcasing what the truck can do. But for now, guys, we're out of here. We gotta catch a flight. We hope you enjoyed our coverage. And remember to subscribe to our YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And for all things F-150, keep it right here at americantrucks.com.